Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Rotoballa Radio Waiver Wire Series. I'm your host, Anthony Aniano, as we take a look at the week 16 of a fantasy baseball season. The week beginning Monday, July 12th. All-star game, no games, actually, till Thursday, July 15th. But we'll take a look at some pitchers available on the waiver wire who can maybe help you out in the second half. Guys, don't forget, head over to rotoballer.com, check out everything we have there. The main page, premium package, expert chats, you name it, rotoballer.com, the place to be. Football, baseball, basketball, MMA, esports, NASCAR, PGA, and sports betting, rotoballer.com has you covered. Whether you play DFS or season-long formats. And guys, don't forget, sign up for any of those premium packages, whether it's baseball for the second half of the season or uh, preparing for your fantasy football season, sign up for that premium package using the promo code ACES. Let them know Anthony sent you and save yourself a little bit of money in the process. Don't forget as well, weekly fantasy baseball is here. If you love the strategy of season-long fantasy sports, live for the short-term excitement of DFS, then be sure to try out weekly fantasy baseball contests on Owner's Box. Head over to rotaballer.com slash box and sign up today. Our friends at Owner's Box are hooking you up. All new users get up to a $500 deposit match bonus and a free Rotoballer premium pre- pass with a $99 value. We'll be hosting weekly free roll contests on Owner's Box as well, which are free to enter with lots of awesome prizes to the winners. Head on over to rotabola.com slash box for all the details and sign up today. Okay, guys. So no two-star pitchers next week. We don't even know the dates pitchers are going to be starting next week since we everybody's off till Thursday. So just a few names, some pitchers who over the last 14 days have had a nice little hot streak if you're looking for a little starting pitching depth. And then we'll take a look at some relievers who can acquire some saves, keep ratios down in the second half. But starting in the starting pitchers, four names, to be mindful of. First, Eric Lauer of the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, not a lot of strikeouts. Only 22.3% of the batters he's faced this year strike out. 54 strikeouts and 56 and a third, so about a K per inning. Over the last 14 days, 18 and a third innings, three starts, giving you six innings per start. 13 strikeouts, 6.38 Ks per nine over the last 18 and a third innings. But Over those last 18 and a third innings, his ERA has been under 1 at 0.98, and his whip has been exceptional at 1.09. In the last three starts, those 14 days, he has picked up two victories for a very good Milwaukee Brewer team. Now, he's only 12% rostered on Yahoo. So when you've got a pitcher on a good team, if you're chasing wins, again, check your categories. He could could potentially give you some wins down the stretch. Season numbers are good. His ERA is on the four. It's at 3.83. Okay, a little bit of luck. His expected ERA sits at 4.25. Batting average against sits at a 2.33 clip. And his whip a little high on the season, 1.31. But he's gotten that down, like I said, over the last 14 days. He has three wins on the year, two of them in the last 14 days, only 12% rostered on Yahoo. Zach Thompson of the Miami Marlins missed the start due to illness, not a, a injury of any type. 42% rostered on Yahoo, and it should be higher than that. Over his last 14 days, 12 innings, 17 strikeouts. Here's your category filler if you're looking for Ks. 17 Ks, like I said, 12 innings, 12.75 Ks per nine over the last two weeks with an ERA of three and a whip of an even one. On the season now, 31 strikeouts in 24 innings pitched. 32% of the batters he's facing. He's got to be home, rostered in more than 42% of the leagues we're playing in. ZRA on the year is at 225, that whip and even one. And the batting average against, it's the best one on the list of all the starters today. An unbelievable 193. Okay, with that ERA of 225, that expected ERA is 334. Sign me up for that. Two wins so far on the season. If you're also looking for K's, Tariq Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. Now, the ERA has been high. He's been giving up runs. He kind of explodes here or there in an inning. Okay, uh, the ERA on the season is 4.36, and the expected ERA isn't great. It's 5.26. Batting average against is 2.46. But again, he's a category filler if you're looking for strikeouts. 46% rostered, a little higher than what we normally go with. 20 strikeouts in his last 18 innings. Okay, that's 10 K's. Uh, per nine innings. And on the season now, 
105 strikeouts in 88 and two-thirds. 27.1% of the batters he's faced. So that's the category fill here with Scooble of Detroit. He's going to give you strikeouts if that's what, what you need. Could hurt your ERA a little bit in the start. Does have five wins on the season for the Tigers. Whip sits at 138 on the year, 111 over the last 14 days. Like we said, that's 18 innings. But again, when you look at your rotisserie stats this weekend over the All-Star break, you take a look at it, and Scooble is somebody who's going to give you a terrific K rate, 105 in 88 and two-thirds. And finally, if you're desperate for a starter, Quang Yun Kim uh, for the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, he's got a start. I'm recording this on a Saturday morning. He starts later today, Saturday, against the Cubs, so everything can change with that. There always seems to be one player where I put that little caveat on. 30% rostered on Yahoo. Not a high strikeout guy. Different than Scooble. Okay, but he's keeping your ERA down. So what is it that you need in your rotisserie stats? You need ratio and ERA down, you go Young Kim. If you need the strikeouts, maybe you go Scooble. It all depends on what you need in your rotisserie format. Over his last 12 innings, only 7 Ks, but an ERA of 0.75, a whip of 0.92. So you see the difference there. Not a lot of strikeouts, but that ERA and whip significantly lower than a Scooble. On the season, 52 strikeouts in 66 and one-third innings, only 18.3% of the batters he faced, compared to Scooble, 27%. But the ERA on the season is 339, the whip is 128, the batting average against is 239, and he has three wins on the season. Okay, so you've got different styles of pitchers here. High strikeout guys, Thompson and Scooble. Thompson, by the way, my number one starting pitcher out of the week. If you're looking for ERA guys, Lauer and Young Kim. So it all depends on what you need. Now, pivot to the bullpen. Three relievers who have picked up saves of late who are under-rostered. Let's start in the Bronx. Chad Green of the New York Yankees. Aroldis Chapman has been a spin rate disaster. Let's just call it what it is. Okay, and Chad Green, who's had a terrific season, has now had the opportunity to pick up a save or two. Over the last 14 days, he has one save on the season. He has three. Okay, and he potentially, with Zach Britton, could be put in more high leverage situations if Araldis Chapman continues to falter. Over the last 14 days, eight and two thirds innings, 13 strikeouts, 13 and a half Ks per nine, an ERA of 104, and a whip of 0.35. Talk about keeping your ratios down. That's what Chad Green has been able to do. On the season, 50 strikeouts in 46 and a third innings, 30% of the batters he has faced. His ERA is 214. His whip is 0.71. Again, that even if he's not giving you saves, a middle reliever who's keeping your ratios down and his batting average against sits at 159. Okay, 44% roster, a little high for the show, but nonetheless available in spots and can pick you up a spot save here or there. If you're strictly searching saves, we keep revisiting this team because it seems to change every week, but right now the hot hand in the Reds bullpen is Heath Embry. 32-year-old former Cleveland Indian, 16% rostered. And why do we mention him? Over the last 14 days, he's got four saves. Can't ignore that. With a terrific K rate. 12 strikeouts in six and a third innings. 17 Ks per nine innings. An ERA over the last 14 of 142. And a whip of 111. Now, his ERA on the season is not pretty. It's 4.97. But his expected ERA on the season is 3.10. So he's pitched some bad luck. His batting average against on the season sits at 181. He's been tough to hit. His whip on the season is 103. 50 strikeouts in 29 innings pitched this season. 42.7% of the batters he has faced, he has sat down by strikeout. That is an astronomical number. Something to keep an eye on. Something to love. Four saves over his last 14 days. Five saves on the season as some of us continue to work the waiver wire looking for save opportunities. And finally, Joaquin Soria, 37-year-old, a veteran who's been around what seems like forever, now getting saves for the Arizona Diamondbacks. 20% rostered on Yahoo. Over the last 14 days, six and a third innings, seven strikeouts, an ERA of 142, and a whip of 111, very similar to Hembry. One win, three saves on over the both the last 14, and that is his season total as well as he's taken over the closer role now for the dismal Arizona Diamondbacks. 23 strikeouts in 24 and a third innings. It's about 22.5%. The 
The ERA is at 407 on the year, but the expected ERA is better. It's 385 with a 132 whip and a 258 batting average against. Chad Green keeping ratios down. Embry keeping ratios down and getting you saves. And Joaquin Soria if you're chasing saves. Again, starting pitching. If you need the strikeouts, Thompson and Scooble. If you're keeping your ratios down, can you take a look at Eric Lauer and Kwang Young Kim. All right. Don't forget, guys, check out all the great content right here on the Rotobola Bowler YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. Check out the Hitter Waiver Wire video out there as well, courtesy of myself, Anthony Aniano. Follow me on Twitter at A Aniano Fantasy. Okay. And uh, check out everything at rotobola.com, owner's box, and all that great stuff. Great stuff. All right. Stay smart. Stay safe. Enjoy the All Star game. And we'll see you next time right here on Rotobola Radio. Have a good one, folks.